Hello my pals, this is Holly and today I'm playing Spongebob Minecraft. In today's vid I play in front of a massive audience, race the paddy wagon, and get trapped in Plankton's prison. But first let's go to Bikini Bottom and learn about the best day ever celebration. Diving into the depths and there it is! My beautiful pineapple kingdom! I have always dreamed of a pineapple house of my very own at the bottom of the sea. And look who it is. Wait, how are you, Spongebob? I'm Spongebob. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. I have dressed myself up in attire I believe is appropriate for the occasion. Now you're a strange look, fish. You from Rock Bottom? You must be visiting Bikini Bottom for the best day ever celebration. Yes, I am. Well, welcome, new friend. Would you like to help me plan my best day ever plans? I want to help all my friends today so they have the best day ever. Oh my gosh, absolutely. It would be an honor and a privilege. What kind of things do you plan when you're trying to plan the best day ever? I like how Spongebob did not comment on the fact that I am also dressed like Spongebob. He's like, that's normal. Just two besties looking identical. Cannot wait to explore the rest of Bikini Bottom, but I think I see somebody who looks like they're in need of a best day ever. Spongebob, you like following me? Okay, that's fine. Come on, best friend. I was just thinking we should go talk to our best friend. So, you're Spongebob's new friend. Sorry for your loss, but it's nice to meet you. And goodbye. Actually, on second thought, did I hear you say that you wanted to help with my best day ever? Did you play any instruments? Uh, yes, my pal. Give me a maraca. So for my best day ever, I want to bring my talent to the people and perform for a huge audience at the Oyster stage. Only problem is I need a band. So, unfortunately, I need your help. You should be able to craft together an instrument with some old parts I have lying around my house. Wow, okay, Squidward, I don't know that you're exactly setting me up for success here. So not only am I playing in the band, and I don't need to tell you that we've got absolutely no time for rehearsals, but I actually have to build the instrument myself. Build the instrument and then learn how to play the instrument. Obsessed with these interiors that look like watermelon. Okay, pieces, pieces, pieces. What do we got? Ooh, a bell. That seems handy. A mouthpiece, yes. Some sticks, sure. And a wooden body. Okay, we're making some sort of guitar bell mouthpiece hybrid. What else we got? Oh, more guitars. Cool. Sticks. We need those. And sure, a metal plate. Why not? You know what? I actually think that we're going to be able to craft several instruments. Like, I can, surely I can make at least two guitars. Ooh, clarinet, drums, trumpet. Yes, my pal, we are building a whole brass section. Squidward's gonna love it when I take this out, have a little toodle. What do you think? You love it? What is taking you so long? Haven't you found an instrument to play yet? Um, yes, did you not just hear my award-winning performance? Well, look at that, you look almost like a real musician. I'm just gonna do my best to ignore the passive-aggressive comments because we are aiming for a best day ever. Hey everyone, we got a performance outside. It's just a little taste of what you can expect. Oh my gosh, they're dancing. They love it. Can I interest you in the joy of music? They're grooving. Oh my gosh, they love it. Time for my solo. Ahem. So, best day ever or what? Well, you actually don't sound terrible. I think we are ready for the big performance at the Oyster stage. Oh my gosh, that was just the warm-up? <gasps> Look at all these people. I think I had a nightmare like this once. I'm at the bottom of the ocean, I'm wearing my square pants, everybody's waiting for me to perform. Okay, I gotta concentrate. Oh my gosh, embarrassing, I'm in the wrong spot. Sorry, Squidward, I'll just get into position here. All good, bud. Take it away. The people love it. They're all grooving. My identical twin rocking out on guitar. Okay, Squidward, it's your moment. Yes, yeah, smashing it. I don't know about you, but this is looking a lot to me like the best day ever. Wait, what's going on? Does Squidward have an identical twin also? Incredible, inspired. Encore, encore, this is the best day ever. Please, no more encores. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Musical medley. Wait, do I get my own Clary? Wow, she's beautiful. And apparently I can use it to defend the crusty crap. Not exactly sure how that works. I guess I can always try to bop an intruder over the head with a clarinet. <gasps> Jellyfish. Come to me, Jelly. No, I said come to me. Come to me, Jelly. Come to me. Why can't I catch the jelly? I just want to see what... Yeah! Achievement unlocked. 
jellyfish in. What do I do with the jelly now that I've got it, though? Uh, Patrick, you know what to do? <laughs> ah, stranger danger! Oh, you're SpongeBob's new friend. Why didn't you say so? Any friend of SpongeBob's a friend of mine. Maybe you and SpongeBob can help me. There's a new ride opening at Glove World. I want to ride it so badly, more than I've wanted anything in my entire life. But it's under construction, whatever that means. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I'm sure that under construction is just a suggestion. You don't need to see this bit. It's boring. Here we are. Okay, doesn't look very under construction to me. In fact, the whole place looks open. Although I guess it could be the roller coaster specifically that they're working on. But you know what? I, I'm sure it's fine. Wait a second, is that ride called the Fiery Fist of Pain? Because that's not the one we're going on, is it? Okay, yeah, no, it seems to be the one we're going on. That's where Patrick's standing. So, hey, bud, this is really what you want to do for the best day ever, eh? You made it. Now you won't believe this. The construction worker won't let me in. He's keeping me away from my dreams. Alrighty, let me have a talking to him. Oh, well, he looks a little scary. So you want to help fix the coaster? Well, do you have any experience? Yeah, I built a dirt house before. How's that? Wow, clearly you're a pro. Look, if you finish building all five supports, then we should be able to get the rest finished and let you ride the first test. That's a deal. Oh, Patrick, the things I do for you. Now, I want you to remember this. Don't be saying that I never did anything special for you. I am literally going to work on a construction project here. I've only built a dirt house before. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I am responsible for building supports, which seems pretty important in a roller coaster. But I'm sure we can take care of this Um, Come on, everybody. Let's uh, explore the construction area. We need to find building supplies and finish all five supports. I guess building materials are probably the most important thing, so let's see what we've got in the old chest. Uh, ooh, steel blocks. That sounds good. Steel being much stronger than the dirt I'm used to working with, but um, I think this is a steel situation. This looks like it could do with a little bit of reinforcing, so here, let me just um, help you guys out here. Oh yeah, now that's looking, that's looking real reinforced. How's me handiwork, engineer? Not enough blocks. Hm. Okay, no problem. I've actually got more blocks, so um, I'll just keep on putting those in here. This is harder than I thought it would be. How's she looking now? Not enough blocks. Okay, fine. I guess you are the engineer. It is pretty important that this doesn't completely fall down um, and crush us all because that's not a best day ever. That's actually quite a bad day. Um, so we'll just add these. That's looking pretty supported. Okay, have another look. Look at my handiwork. I think it's pretty good. Yes, the track is fully supported. We love a fully supported track. We are getting stuff done here. Please examine my support. Yes, I am construction worker. Reinforcing, doing all the reinforcing work. Patrick, you better appreciate this. I have been working so hard. I am sweating here. Look at that, my handiwork. It's majestic, it's beautiful. All right, Patrick, your time has come. We are ready to ride the roller coaster. Gotta say, feeling a little bit nervous about putting mine own corporeal body on the first test ride. We could always, I don't know, send the roller coaster around without anybody on it, make sure that everything is safe, but I guess what's the fun in that? That would be a little bit boring. So I guess throw caution to the wind, hop on the roller coaster. Oh, Patrick's ready. <laughs> He's like, I'm waiting. Don't suppose we checked any of the safety restraints. Am I going backwards? Oop, oop, oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> okay, hang on. Ooh, these corners are a little bit, a little bit spicy. Oop, oop. Okay, going up high. Going up real high. Wow, you can see everything from up here. It's so beautiful. Ah! Patrick, you better be enjoying this. Oh, I think he is. He's like, yay. I mean, usually I do like roller coasters, but it's a little bit hard to concentrate on enjoying myself when I was the person who was responsible for making sure that this whole thing doesn't fall apart. And like I said, I haven't really done anything like that before, but you know what? It's fun. It's really fun. Please, please say this ride is gonna end soon. I can't take it anymore. It's just what, uh, oh, okay, cool. I think we made it. We survived. Patrick, my friend, what do you think? <laughs> that was amazing. Again, again. Thank you so much. Today is the best day ever. Achievement unlocked. Roller coaster rock star. Wow, I am proud of myself. That is the single greatest engineering feat I have ever accomplished. I wonder who else in Bikini Bottom might be interested in the best day ever. Would anyone like a little toodly-too?
Yeah, there's more where that came from. Might continue my performance over at the uh, Krusty Crab. That'll be sure to give the Krusty Crab a bit of an edge over the chum bucket. The patrons will love a bit of clarinet while they eat. Surely. Oh, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? SpongeBob, me boy, I'm glad you're here and you brought some extra labor. I mean, a friend. Great. Buses full of customers are on their way to Krusty Krab. I need as much help as I can get to serve all of them Krabby Patties. That's where you come in. What? Me? Serve the customers and collect their money. Just don't let them destroy the restaurant and be cash register. Survive for as long as you can. Think you can help me out so I can have the best day ever? You got it. Wait a second. Is your best day ever just a really, really busy day at the restaurant? And my free labor? Oh, here comes the bus. Already? No time to think about that. We've got some Krabby Patties to make. Oh, actually, apparently, uh, maybe I should... Should I be on cash? Oh, no, here come the custies. What do we do? What do we do? Should I just fling patties at them until they are satisfied? Oh, looks like the register is filling up with dollars, so that's good. Guess I'll just keep flinging. Though, gotta say, I am a little bit worried about what Mr. Crab said about the custies potentially destroying the restaurant. Like, are they a destructive bunch? Maybe, maybe when they get hungry. Maybe if they get too hungry, then they get real angry and start trashing stuff. Not happening on my watch. We are going to have nothing but full tummies. Wait a second. Wave number two has started. <gasps> Another bus? SpongeBob, you got to help me. Oh, we got a tip coming in. Playing an annoying musical instrument can buy you some time. Oh my gosh, they hate it. <laughs> They're all leaving. Okay, hard to strike a balance between getting those dollars and making sure they don't destroy the cash register. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guess I'll have my uh, clarinet at the ready. If I can just keep them outside of the restaurant, they won't be able to get to that cash register and destroy it. Come on, SpongeBob. We can do this. Just keep just keep those patties flowing. This is actually a mad strategy. I've got them, like, right as they come out of the bus. Okay, we did it! $40 in the cash register, and we are... Oh my gosh, two buses? Please, take the patties! For the love of everything good, just take the patties! The cash register has fallen! Food service is over! Oh my gosh, a new high score of $438. SpongeBob, we nailed it. Mr. Krabs, what do you think of that? Well, that's a wheelbarrow full of cash. Oh, hey, laddie, thanks for helping me out. I can always use more hands here at Crust Crab. Would you like to help me out again? Maybe later. Like, it was fun, but it was a bit intense, and I see you're keeping all the money. Hey, boat cars! Now, if I'm thinking about my best day ever, it might involve driving one of these around. Oh, if I can drive it. Don't want to crash my boat car, now that wouldn't be the best day ever. Just two Spongebobs, going for a ride. Just two identical sponges, cruising along. You know what I'm thinking? Spongebob is always thinking about others. Like, Spongebob is out here trying to make sure that his friends have the best day ever. But it's like, who's making sure that Spongebob has the best day ever? Well, I mean, it could be me. You know, we're taking a little cruise together, a little cruise with your friends, looking at the jellyfish, cruising on into town. Although maybe SpongeBob's best day ever is just witnessing his friends having the best day ever. Or maybe his best day ever is going to the Palace of Pranks. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, hey, Frank. How's it going? Oh, is it best day ever already? Sure is, Frank, and I thought you might want to participate, but it doesn't seem like you've got much to say to me, so that's fine. I'll just move along. Anyone out here need a best day? Mrs. Puff's boating school? You know, I never really have learned how to drive a boat properly, and I'm sure that Mrs. Puff has some hot tips for me, so maybe I'll see if she can give me just a little bit of that Mrs. Puff boating school wisdom. <laughs> what a terrible day. What? What do you mean? What's wrong? I'm just in a sour mood because my boat is completely wrecked. And surprisingly, not because of you, SpongeBob. But that means I need a new one, and I have no idea how I'll be able to afford one. But maybe you two could help me. I heard there's a race going on today in Rock Bottom, and the grand prize is a brand new boat. Say no more, that boat is as good as ours. One scary road later. Welcome, welcome everyone to Rock Bottom. It is time for the race you've all been waiting for. The competition is fierce. The prize is legendary. And my vehicle is a burger? Okay, SpongeBob, hop on into the paddy wagon. I don't really know if this is up to like race standard, but it's all we got, so hmm, better just check in with Mrs. Puff. She's like, good luck and win me that boat. I mean, I will certainly do my best. <laughs> SpongeBob waving. <laughs> so excited to be co-pilot. All right, now time to win the race. Let's go! Come on, paddy wagon. Wow, we are really slow. And the paddy wagon is pretty hard to control, as evidenced by the fact that I am driving into every single wall. 
I feel like the pirate ship has like kind of an unfair advantage. It's okay, I will rise to the occasion. I really hope I'm not in last place. Oh my gosh, there's coral everywhere. This is a disaster. Mrs. Puff is not gonna be happy if we don't manage to win the race. Third and final lap and your favorite spongy duo is battling for first place. Get out of my way. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a standoff. Just the two of us and we're getting so close to the finish line. I just gotta blast away. Okay, into the bubbles. Uh, home stretch. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Did it. I honestly didn't think it could be done, but Mrs. Puff is gonna be so happy. I wanna see the boat. What boat did we win? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Mrs. Puff, what do you think? You did it. You actually won. And now I get to take this beauty home. You ready to leave? I'll give you a ride. Thanks for the lift, Mrs. Puff. The new boat is fantastic. Let me wish you a very happy best day ever. Looks like Karen has something she wants to say to us, SpongeBob. Uh, I think we should probably hear her out. Karen, what's up? Oh, hi, SpongeBob and friend. I heard you're going around town helping people to have their best day ever. So I wanted to ask for a favor. Plankton's gotten himself trapped in some crazy contraption in his lab. He's the smartest guy I know, but sometimes he just doesn't use his brain. I tried to get him out, but I can't fit through the maintenance vent. Do you think you could help me by getting him out? My process is about to short out from all his screaming. Yeah, that does sound pretty annoying. I guess we can help you. Here's the thing, though. Just don't tell Mr. Krabs. It is kind of cute that your idea of your best day ever is just rescuing your husband. I mean, it's a bit nice. Wait, is he down here? Ah! I'm falling into the depths! Oh, I've reached the depths. How am I supposed to press this button when I... Oh, I lost my jellyfish. Oh, come back. Just trying to escape this cage. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're in. Uh, Plankton? Got some Krabby Patties if you want some. Oh, no, he probably won't like that. Um, just Plankton, I'm here to help. Um, Karen said that you might have been stuck somewhere. Where are you? Might as well just have a little look around. He's gotta be here somewhere. Plankton, I'm here to help. Gonna try to make sure that you have the best day ever by not being trapped any longer. So if you could just, like, I don't know, narrow it down. Give me a shout. Ooh, a lever. What's that do? Doesn't seem to do a lot. Hey, SpongeBob, I'm coming. Oh, oh, what just happened? Hmm, okay, interesting. Telling you, you try to help Plankton out and he can't even make it easy for you. Even when he's not here, he's annoying. Sorry, SpongeBob, this time I'm gonna make it to you. This time I'm coming. Okay, let's go, bud, let's find him. Plankton, Plankton, where are you? <gasps> Oh, I hear him! Help! Please, someone, anyone, help me! It's me, Plankton, I'm here to help! Now just stay calm and don't panic! <gasps> you fools! You really thought I would get stuck in my own trap? This isn't even the real me, this is a hologram! But thank you so much for making this the best day ever! I couldn't think of anything more enjoyable than seeing your faces trapped behind bars! Have a great day! Okay, um, this is a bit unexpected. SpongeBob, did you know anything about this? Plankton, this is the last time I try to make sure that you have the best day ever. That goes for your wife, too. I'm gonna have to have a word with her as soon as I find the right lever. Surely one of these will do something. Please. Oh, did I escape? SpongeBob, we did it! Wow, now this is my best day ever. Now that we're not trapped, you good back there, SpongeBob? Yeah, okay, he's good. Just skipping along. We gotta get back at Plankton for this. He has taken advantage of our good nature and generosity of spirit. Does have some cool stuff down here, though. Gotta hand it to him. Where do you think you're going? You're supposed to be trapped down here forever. Don't you dare try to take that elevator, or else I'll have to stop you myself. Wait, I'm just a hologram. Well, you win this round. But know that you haven't seen the last of me. While you're out frolicking, I'll be planning my revenge. While you're sleeping, I'll be planning my revenge. While you're eating, I'll be planning my revenge. And while you are crafting, I'll be, you guessed it, planning my revenge. Cool story, bud. I'm just getting on this elevator. Oh, what's that? I escaped Plankton's prison? Oh my gosh, best day ever.